Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Rowan and we're playing Dragon Age 2. Uh, we're finally just about ready to go back, uh, go to the Deep Roads Expedition and finish Act 1. This should be the video where we do it. Um, before we go, we're actually going to... There's a couple things we still have to do. Uh, just minor things. We're going to go to Docks. Real quick, we're going to go to the docks. We're going to talk to the air shock and let him know that we killed, killed those guys. Um, there's like an achievement that you get uh, by earning his respect. You have to do a few things that he actually likes. I don't think it's don't a coincidence they picked a prison it. to house their mages. That was a random comment. Yeah, so letting him know what happened, you know, with uh, the Chantry, the mage, and his, uh, his, you know, the patrol that you ended up killing and stuff like that actually doesn't hurt your reputation with him. If anything, it's being honest and upfront about what's going on kind of thing. He sees that you as go some ahead. respect. I have something I should do. I'll put it off if that's what you want, but I need a reason. It's nothing, really. I'm sure we have plenty to do, and I don't want to interrupt too much. Well, that's weird. So she doesn't want to go into the air shock compound. We're going to switch her out anyway. Um, we're going to get rid of her, get good old Meryl in. I think this is the same group we're going to take into the deep roads, too. Enter if you must. We have a purpose. We have little to discuss, human. For now, I would think on the fate of this city. I've had confrontations with others in your command. There have been a number of incidents, but you must mean Arvarad, found dead after tracking Cerebas. I thought nothing could threaten Arvarad. You are not angry. A mage is dead. That is what matters. The rest is impressive, but do not repeat it. I believe a member of the Chantry intended it to happen. Friend and enemy blend together in this sea of filth. I can barely discern one group from another. But as this clearly means something to you, I acknowledge the risk taken. Cerebas chose death over leaving the Kune. That is good to hear. That is all you have to say. I will not insult Sarabas with the suggestion that making the right choice was difficult. I expect as much from every Kunari. I doubt Sarabas earned a greater honor in his life than my reaction now. <laughs> oh, man. Farewell. Panahedon, human. Funny thing is, is I think that making the right choice is usually the difficult one out of... Like, if you have an option, the right choice is usually the more difficult one to do, not less. It's easy to do what's wrong. Okay, uh, we're gonna go back, we're also gonna go back to the, uh, back to the gallows, pop the cullen one more time. We forgot to do that on the last episode. And then we should be able to get ready. Oh, it looks like we got mail. Great. Watch, it's another quest. <laughs> We're going to have to go back home to get the mail. It's probably like a last ditch effort. Um, there is, there are ways to accidentally spend too much gold. Not accident. <laughs> I, I doubt it's an accident. There are ways to spend too much gold in this I game and not have enough. You were a grey warden. I was. I met a warden once. Back in Ferelden. Duncan, I think his name was. Very odd man. 
He had a marvelous beard, though. I'd never seen one before. I thought a squirrel had grabbed him by the chin. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, here's Colin. I have told the Knight Commander of your service. She commends your quick thinking and has agreed to keep the lad Karen around for observation. You sound Ferelden. How did you end up here? I was in the Circle Tower in Ferelden when Uldred summoned his demons. I was held in a cage for... I can't even say. Weeks? Months? It was one unending nightmare. I watched what those mages did, what they became. I would gladly give my life to avoid seeing that again. What's it like being in the Order? Do you feel you're accomplishing anything? The Templars are not a good choice for anyone who requires a strong sense of achievement. It is a losing battle. Every day new mages are born in Thedas. Every day, those born a dozen years ago come into their power. The best we can do is to contain the threat, and recruit more to fill our own ranks when they're ended. I've heard a lot about the Knight Commander. What's she really like? She is not an easy taskmaster, but it is not an easy task. I would not have liked her when I was younger. I thought mages deserved a softer touch. But Meredith is never fooled by a sweet face. She always sees the demon behind it. That's not a good thing. <laughs> you have to admit, the Templars have brought some of this hatred on themselves. That is the popular school of thought, no? It's the truth. It used to be that Templars were welcomed wherever they went, for defending people from dark magics. Now the townsfolk are as likely to slam their doors as offer as a bed. The image of the poor, chained apprentice is a powerful one, and one the mages are more than willing to exploit. Alright, back to the house. So that's Cullen, we already talked about him, he was in our last game, and he'll be in the third game too. One of the few people in all three games, although he's never a companion. Maybe they should have made him a companion. He probably was planned to be a companion, at least in one of these games, probably this game. Maybe even Inquisition. Make his breath, you get more letters than I do. There's another one on the desk. <laughs> Friends in low places, I understand you're in dire need of some coin. If that's true, I believe I have a proposition that you simply will not be able to refuse. Look for me at night near the foundries in Lotan. So, yeah, that's uh, a last ditch effort to get you enough gold to do the expedition. Uh, you'll uh, you'll earn just enough. Like if you have. 11 gold, you'll earn exactly enough to do the expedition, no more, no less. Okay. I guess uh, we'll use this as our prep time. We're gonna uh, get... Let me see here. We're gonna make potions. And, by the way, in this game, once you, once you get the ingredients for all of this, so we found... Three elf root, two spindle weed. Now we can make as many restoration potions as we want. There's actually nine total in the game for elf root, six for spindle weed, and six for embryum, and then one called an ambrosia. <clears throat> and there's more things that we can make later once we get the recipes for them. How many of these do we have? We've got four, so let's make four more, so that way we can spend an entire hour. This is 30 minutes. Okay, so that's a, an, an entire hour of plus 10% versus dark spawn for each one of our companions. And poisons. We 
We're not really going to make use of poisons. Don't need it. We might use some later. I don't know. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? Throw venom. Attack speed and movement speed. This one makes them do less damage. And then we have faster... De this one's like the no-brainer right now. And that's 30 minutes too. I'm not sure if this will work on... Um, Non-melee weapons. I hope it does. It'd be cool. Alright, we're also going to do runes. We still have enough gold, plenty of gold, so um, as long as we don't dip below 50. If we do dip below 50, then we have to do that quest. I think we lose approval from some of our companions for doing that quest, too, actually. Let's see here. Armor runes. Okay. So, physical damage. Resistance, fire damage. Well, how many of each do we need? Wow, okay. That's not cool, actually. I can only check the weapons of those I... of, of myself and whoever's in my party, but since I'm in here by myself, I don't have anybody in my party. All right, I've got two weapon slots. One, two, three, four. And four armor slots. Add some frost damage. And then I'm thinking we'll use Rune of Protection for armor increase. I guess I can't just add that stuff to my... Yeah, I can't. I can't just add it. All right, let's, uh, first things first, we're going to have to get, we have to unequip her. Uh, I won't say why, but there's a reason for it. We're going to un unequip her, get all our mages in one party here. Actually, you know what? A, be a faster load time would probably be Meryl's house. So if we have to do this in the future, I think our whole party could come to Meryl's house and I can quit equip us there. Work on our inventory there. Uh, excuse me. Alright. So first things first, you are going to be unequipped. No point in unequipping that, because only she can wear it. Yeah, that too. Okay, we're good there. We can probably put ruins in all of these weapons, or get close to it at least. None of these guys have any actual ruin slots at the moment.
get more letters than I do. There's another one on the desk. Now we'll go to Merrill's. We're gonna actually equip our entire party now. So we're gonna have Aveline with us. You know what? I'm pretty sure it's gonna have to be Varric. Varric, I think, is a requirement on the expedition now that I now that I think about it. So he'll go with us too. Merrill's home. We can change our party here. See, this is a much better place to actually do some party changing. Look at her place. It looks nice. Maybe this is a mod. It might be... That this place has been affected by a mod. I don't remember it looking this nice or roomy for that matter. This is like bigger than my place in Lowtown. Hmm. Well, let's check out. Think we're gonna have to worry about this one so much. He's got an armor rune. He's got one level rune. Um, one fire rune, too. Mm. Mm, fire might be okay. So yeah, basically we have one one iron rune or uh, armor rune. One, two, three, four, and one more one more actual armor rune that we can put on Varric, and then the rest are basically just weapon runes between all the weapons. We should have enough to do this. All right, so back to Gamlin's house. We'll make one more armor rune, and then the rest of them will be weapon runes for all of our guys. And then we should be good to go. Maker's breath, you get more letters than I do. There's another. So, one more of those. That's for Varric, I think it was. And then the rest are basically just going to be weapon runes. And we have two of those right now. We got enough armor runes for everybody. And we only have two weapon runes. One, two. Okay. Three. Four. Two, three. So I'm going to count how many more we need now. So, because we already have two, so we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to assume 22. Hopefully we can do 22 without dropping below 50 gold. Could be good. All right, now we're going to take our group to Sandal, who can do rune, uh, rooting for us, enchanting. He's in High Town, actually right next to where we need to go. I forgot to make the forgot to make the uh the extra armor rune I think. Oh no, I made all armor runes. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, well I got plenty of those. Might as well get everybody, right? Damn. 20 armor for Varric's Duster. Does cold and fire damage. A little bit of a bit of a mix, but that's okay. We're gonna have to go back and make some more then. Actually, he might. I think the rune guy is right down here. We'll see how little, how much it costs. Worthy. Yep. Can make more runes there. And we'll sell the ones that were already done. Always a pleasure, Hawk. So, Rune of Frost. So we need 22 of these. There we go. Well, we're still good.
All right, then we could sell the rest. Get some of our gold back. Alright, and one last time we're going to go back to our place so we can stash, uh, stash the extra inventory that we have. We're keeping the weapons in here, but the inventory and stuff, uh, the rest of the inventory we don't need. We're going to make room for our loot just in case. There's another one on the desk. All right. Here we go. The high town. To the expedition. I love the deep roads. It's fun. Big fan of fighting Darkspawn. <laughs> I've always wondered, why is every surface dwarf a merchant or a smith? You left out criminals and hired muscle. They don't count. We dwarves are drawn to shiny objects. Sort of like magpies, but with business sense. You're kidding. <laughs> of course I am. We come to the surface with the skills our ancestors had, Blondie. You think there's a tradition of dwarf woodcutters in Orzammar? Beekeepers? Sailors? Well, there could be mushroom growers and nug wranglers. Orzammar will never let those people go topside. Too vital. Also, embarrassing. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. There! Where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand, so suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. There's so much love here. It's very comforting. What I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. I do have your coin, in fact. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. I should get a bigger share if I'm providing the maps. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? A wizard did it. <laughs> me astounded. We just pick the most promising one and go. Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready and we'll head out. Oh, so this whole time you could actually just give the 50 gold to him and keep questing? Interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're all set, so let's go. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. And let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. <laughs> there's an image. <laughs> now there's an interesting <laughs> image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover dark spawn from the blight. Big risks, big rewards. Risks, rewards, what could be better? Exactly! Now, before... It... Wait, who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf, but I need to speak with my children. Mother, I told you not to get involved with this. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Bethany with you? I hadn't decided yet. Mother, I'll be fine. I want to go. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand, wanting to do this. But leave your sister here, I beg you. It's the Templars or the Darkspawn, Mother. At least I'm allowed to fight Darkspawn. Well, you're not gonna be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. Yep, I knew it. Varric is locked in. So it's gonna be have to be it's gonna have to be our tank and our healer. Pretty much no choice. Oh, thank the Maker. Are you sure about this, big brother? I hope you're not just trying to protect me. As a matter of fact, I am. So, little known uh, thing, not little known, plenty of people know it by now, it's an old game. If you take, whether it's Carver or Bethany, whoever you've got your uh, retinue, whoever survived, if you take them into the deep roads with you, they die. There's only one way around it, and if you bring Eric, or, uh, excuse me, if you bring Anders with you, they, uh, you have the option for them to either die, or they can become a Grey Warden, but either way, Grey Warden, they'll still leave your party. Um, yeah, so that's not a good idea, unless you want them to become a Grey Warden, it's not a good idea, uh, or die, that... Uh, it's not a great idea to take them into the deep roads with you. Trust me, this is no picnic. I'd stay if I could. Fair enough. I hope you're right. Personal drama over with? Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await! No! This can't be right. The champion and his apostate sister came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claimed this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friend did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me he is innocent. I don't know if innocent is the right word exactly. He must have known. Somehow the champion knew what was down there. That's why he wanted to join your expedition. No. None of us knew. If we had, this would have all turned out very differently. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the deep roads as planned, but we didn't get very far.
There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. Useless! What am I paying you blighters for? <laughs> wow. Set camp! <laughs> Problems, brother? Starting deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path? Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Varric? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. See? This is why you bring someone like me along. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine, fine! Find a way around. Just do it quickly. This is why I left the Wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Ah, I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago. I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Ow, oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. One man out there alone. What are his chances? Well, my boy is sturdier than you think. If he has one of his enchantments with him, he'll survive. He's burned down a house twice by accident. I'm more <laughs> worried about him getting lost. Oh, my poor boy. We'll bring him back in one piece. Or maybe two. Hard to say, really. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly, then. Of course, we have to save Sandal. He's God. That's not actually a spoiler. That was a theory for a little while, though. Seems like the deep roads are deep for a reason. Okay, so dark spawn. Oh, only I can have the elixir of purity. How convenient.
I can have the Elixir of Purity and Death Root Toxin. And then everybody can use Restoration Potions and Combustion Grenades. I think we're all set, guys. Everybody's got all their sustained active. We got all of our buffs. We are more than prepared. This would have might actually be good for uh, a two-handed tank. I kind of want to play this game as a two-handed tank warrior. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> it's the potion. The elixir of purity gives me glowing eyes. Apparently, that's cool. How long do you suppose it's been since anyone walked here, other than Darkspawn? I mean, attack the emissary as soon as possible. There we go. Wow, I feel overpowered. We're killing these guys like super easy. Look at all the lyrium. Lyrium looks different in this game, doesn't it? Oh shit, okay.
Guess we're already using the injury injury kit. We all got a level up. Woo! Nice. It was like a boss. All right, crit chance and cunning, of course. Got to keep all of that up. Yeah, let's do that. We won't actually use it until we get this upgrade. We're gonna try something a little different. We've got a few tactics to spare for this. So we're gonna say if elite is, or if target is elite or higher. Yeah, enemy target is elite or higher. Jump to tactic. Nah, nine. You know what? Ally surrounded by Is that one. No, that's not it. it. Leader higher. Aveline. Any. Usability. Barrier. 
That gives her a little bit more cushion if she's facing a boss. as well. Enemy is a boss or higher. Activate mode immovable. We can deactivate this ourselves if we need to. No loot from the giant spider matriarch? Maybe it's in here. Our just reward. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Honestly, the uh, DLC loot in this game is kind of overpowered. It makes you not have to worry even a little bit about, uh, about gear and weapons and stuff. Maybe a little. Rings. Rings and the like. Too bad we can't get in there, huh? Well, I'll be a Nug's uncle. Isn't that Bodan's boy? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Talk about dumb luck. I'd really like to know how you managed to kill all of them. Boom! And how did you do that? Not enchantment. <laughs> and now you know why everybody thinks Smart that Sandal boy. is God. Come on. We still need to find a way past that collapse. Ooh, raw lyrium. Red, why is it red? Oh, 
Okay, so we don't even have to return to camp. Those mages. Doing this right. This is on... Oh, geez. It really doesn't feel like it's on Nightmare. It is, though. Friendly fire and all. Why did I even dodge? We just kill him so quick. Done.
That should do it. You know what? I've got a better a better way to use this tactic. So we're going to this tactic. Barrier. I don't like this. I like I like using barrier, but I don't like how I have it set up here. Wish there was a way to time it to where I can use barrier only after heal has been used. But unfortunately, there's really not I think of one, I'll change it. Because what I'd like to do is use heal first, and then while heal's on cooldown, use barrier to extend extend her life a little bit longer, so that way she can use a potion, and then by the time she needs to be healed again, the cooldown for uh, heal will be ready. Right now, it's kind of not really doing that. Is there a door up here we missed? It's just a door that can't be opened. Sorry. Sorry for backtracking. I'll try to be more thorough as I go from here on. Is it a dragon? All right. See, this is an example of a time when I would have cast a shield on it. a heal. Next, you should be using a shield. Which is on cooldown already.
Look at that, now we've got this up. And heal's not quite ready yet either. the rest. Yeah. Suck it, dragon. Winter weight. Plus nine armor, plus eight fortitude, and the Navarin Ance Lancer. A lot of damage. Mine's better. goes right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. <laughs> Bartrand! We found a way around your damned cave-in. It's about time. Let's move out! Is this what you were expecting? I thought. An abandoned dying, something old, but... What is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. After the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here! We need to look around. Watch yourself. Having a member of the Guard along carries little weight here. Carl was a good mage, a good man. It goes against all Chantry law to make him tranquil. I will not be sorry to see daylight again. <laughs> Hates the deep roads. This place is supposed to be something special. Barton sure seems taken by this place. Why? Oh, really? Says he's never seen anything like it. Maybe some kind of forgotten city.
You found him. I can't believe it. You found him. Hello. <laughs> I owe you a great debt. I will repay it somehow. I swear my life on it. No need. I'm glad Sandal was all right. Because of you. You will not regret this. Say thank you to the nice man for saving your life, Sandal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we didn't save his life. Oh. Too funny. I don't get it. Nothing in this tide makes sense. Why is that? Why is that? Oh, shit. We're well below the deep roads. Whatever dwarves lived here, they came long before the first blight. But where are the statues of Paragons? I don't recognize these markings on the wall, or anything in the rubble. Whatever's here must be very rare and valuable. Hmm. Possibly. These dwarves might have been unique. If so, I hope they kept their valuables close at hand. All right, so this is like the perfect spot to call it. We're over an hour, and we're about halfway through our Deep Roads journey. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the video, and if you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And we should see more comments, or more content, sorry. Maybe leave me a comment in the YouTube uh, comment section, and I like to read those, and I respond to all of them. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a good night.